Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Collector's Vault. My name's Mike, and we are continuing our Metroid Zero Mission Let's Play. We are in uh, Kraid's Lair, and we are about to get another uh, interesting item. As long as I can get out of here. There it is. Yeah, it's, if, if you try going through here, it's, it's like, oh, you're blocked off. Find a secret entrance, and you get another unknown item. If you guys are Metroid fans, you might be able to recognize from the symbol of the item what it is, but, you know, I won't tell you guys now. We'll find out later when we unlock them all. And the same can be said for the first one. It actually does have a, a symbol that should be recognizable to, to real Metroid fans. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get through here and kill Mr. Raid. Mr. Mr. Raid. Mr. Crane. Excuse me. Uh, am I still low on missiles? I am low on missiles. It's annoying. Why can't I get more missiles than that? Wow, are these guys freezing. That's interesting. So the first time I ever used charge beam. <laughs> I got it, I just never use it, but it can help it can kill some enemies. It actually does I think I think it counts as like the same amount of damage as one missile. So if you ever do run out of missiles, you can just do a charge beam, but it's like really, really annoying. And I think going through here is actually another way to get out of here, but we don't want to go through here. We're gonna go. I think this is how we get out of this area, but we just want to go deeper and deeper into the lair, because this is actually where Crate's hiding. These little red, like, crab things are just like the yellow ones, but they're, these red ones, when you kill them, their eyes uh, fall off and they're like little bombs. That's kind of annoying. And, uh, actually... Yeah, I, gosh, I, need, I need more missiles. If I'm gonna fight Kraid, I need my missiles. Missiles, please. Why are you depriving me of missiles? How can I save... Ah, itch. How can I save the universe from the Metroid threat without my missiles? I'll probably get some right here. These little eye doors were introduced to us in uh, Metroid Fusion. Wait, is there... A, I think there's like a little enemy that comes up here. I'm lying, apparently. I thought the bug comes up here. And here he is. And he's much bigger than his original NES counterpart. But unfortunately, as awesome as Kraid is, he actually is pretty uh, easy. And if you ever run out of missiles, shoot his, his nail. He, his his uh, fingernail he throws at you. And they become energy and missiles. Ah. As he loses more health, he actually... Ah, oh, that wasn't good enough. Oh, I'm out of missiles. No! Wait. Missiles, please. Thank you. Ah, I'm so close. Yeah, and he shoots his uh, stomach things. His, uh... Come on. He should be dead now. Ah, so close. I actually never take this long to kill this guy, but he's uh, giving me really bad behavior. There we go. Running in place, running in place, running in place. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a little invisible wall there. So this is actually what we skipped in episode one, but this is actually like the wall that you can't get past until you kill both bosses. In the first game was like a bridge, it was like a bridge to shoot, it was weird. Bye, Kraid. See you never. Well, see you in, in Super Metroid. I don't know how you lived, but then again, you might be just like Ridley, because Ridley keeps dying and can come back to life. Maybe Kraid can do the same thing, although he only did it once. I don't know. So here we get a brand new upgrade, well, new for this game at least, but uh, the Speed Booster, which was introduced to us in Super Metroid. Actually, I'm going to recharge my missiles. Oh my god, <laughs> 110 I was missing out on. Oh man, I was really deprived of my missiles. But now Speed Booster, one of the really iconic upgrade that you know, gives Samus enough, enough running space and she turns into a locomotive. And can destroy certain blocks, which is great. Um, I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah. Uh, this is area. Actually, in the original Metro, this room is annoying. Because, uh, you have these blocks that keep re uh, reforming. It's a little more manageable here, but... Yeah. Again, really easy with the high jump. Um, yeah. Uh, there might be a save room up there. Oh, yeah, there's an upgrade over here. Add this acid waterfall. It would hurt you, but it doesn't now. Uh, here we go. 
I think there's only one upgrade that we can't get in this uh, in, in uh, Craig's lair is because it requires uh, us to be able to move through water or, you know, have no friction in water. I'm sure you all know what that upgrade is. But yeah, we don't get that until very late in the game. So uh, here's a little fun fact. I showed this off in uh, AM2R, all the end game areas. Right here is an end game door. You can actually use this to... Uh, Backtrack to other other areas as opposed to going to the elevators. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this is actually really annoying. To avoid to, the, the best way to kill these things is with missiles. Because if, if they hit you and you fall into this acid, you actually will go to the room below us where the waterfall was, the, the acid waterfall. So they yeah, don't do that. It's kind of annoying. I don't believe there's any upgrades down there. Wait, is there a door here? There's a door here. There might be one in here actually. Let me go through here. Uh, yes, there is. I don't know if there's any... I don't, know, I don't remember if there is. Oh, these guys do spawn. It's annoying. Uh, this is an interesting little puzzle. So, there's the conveyor. Morph Ball Bomb will also trigger this thing. So, do this, then jump. Or Morph Ball Bomb jump, you know, into that. And you get this. Now, let's get down out. Let's get down here and see what's down here. Okay, so this is actually a spot where you have to go from the bottom up. Because, uh... It's one of those, like, launch pad things again. Yeah, whatever. I'll time you guys. You know, just for that. I got no energy or missiles. Ugh, what a waste. Yeah, I think if you go down here, that's how you get to here. And, uh, there might be... I don't know, I hate this when I don't remember if there's an upgrade or not. Let me, uh, just do this. Um, oh, this, I believe, is the map room. It is. Alright, I don't need that. Well, you know, let me just show it off for you guys. So, for those of you who want a little help, if you go into a map room, it'll... It might not show too much, because I already explored most of the area, but it'll actually... Will, yeah, it showed a little bit. So, it'll just show you some of the uh, unexplored rooms, kind of give you some help. It's kind of it's useful, but... Anyway. Let's, uh... Go back to here. Some energy up pickups. So I think I have to go back through here. There's a door on the right, and I don't remember if uh there might be an upgrade here, I don't remember. Um oops. Yeah. So whoop. I don't remember. Oh, there might be something up here. So you can't go back through here, I think. But if you're down there, I really hope there's not an item. Then I don't think there is, but I really hope I really there's not. The item I'm thinking of is somewhere else in here, I think. And it is, yeah, it can't be attained until you have the. Oops, I keep forgetting. Until you have the uh, the special suit that lets you move in water without any. I don't know why I'm acting like it's such a secret, because, I mean, again, if you're a Metroid fan, you know exactly what that item is, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Right, so, I, I, I saved this door for last, but it's because we're here. And now that we have the speed booster, we can run on water! Essentially. Not really, but essentially. It's just that way you can run across these brickwood blocks. Right. So, Brit... Uh, Craig's Lair is done for now. Now, it's funny because initially, we were, after this, if you were see sequence breaking, you would go and get the high jump boots and then get the various suit and then go back to Norfair. Because with, with, with the various suit, you can explore all the lava rooms in Norfair. Nice cool little cutscene. Who is that? Looks like a giant space pirate pterodactyl dragon guy. Is that Rodley? You know, Ridley's brother Rodley? Oh, it's just Ridley? Uh, oh, it's Rodley. Yeah. Defeat the boss of the area, this foot opens up. It just gives you another uh, chosen statue to guide you along your way, but we don't need that. So, moving along. I'm trying to think of where I go now, because now that I have 
the uh, various suit and high jump boots. I think I, I think I just go back to North Fair and I just. Uh... Oh wait, no. Before we do that, we can get the super missile early because we have the speed booster, which is nice. So I'll show that off. Uh, do to do. Actually, it's right here. I just there is a little hidden uh, is it here, or here. There it is. A little hidden room here, which you will tra uh, go through when you're trying to do the speed boost trick. I'll show you. So you get that. Seems are annoying. Ow, ow. Okay, so what you gotta do is speed boost through here. Um, this way. Open the door, get on the floor, everyone do the dinosaur. So do this, there we go, and through here, and stop, and then go, jump, and more fall bomb through here, there we go, perfect. Oh man, first try too, good job Mike. Yes, I did just high five myself because I'm just that cool. So, now we have the super missile way ahead of time, which is kind of nice. It's incredibly powerful in this game. I want to say it's also as powerful as five ordinary missiles, but I could be wrong, but whatever. Really. Um, boop, boop, boop. I think we, uh, you know, just hit the shortcut again through here. Ow. So we're going right to North Air. Should have did the well. I guess I can't really go far here with the speed boost trick or the shine spark. Excuse me. Uh, but I do like this rendition of the Brin Star theme. My favorite. It, it still might be the uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. I think it was Melee. The uh, Brin Star theme. It was. It was like a rock version. It was really sick. Anywho. Uh, going right. Uh, we've about eight minutes of time. So. Uh, you actually can speed. Uh, I'll show you. You can speed boost through here to, to like you know save time. So, um, yes. and run through. Speed booster. Gotcha. And then you do need the speed booster to actually do it the proper way and go down here. And you keep speed boosting to break through these walls. Or th the floors, rather. And look at that. Because we have the super missile, we can. This, this door you're not supposed to be able to get into, but because we have the super missile, we can hear a little early, which is nice. I actually don't remember what's in here. Let me just do this thing. Um, I think it's actually an upgrade hidden one of these walls. I don't care. Die, die, die. Here? No. Where is it? What are these? Is that that one? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I should figure what's over here. I think it's just I think it's just more upgrades, but I can't call. Oh yeah, this is an interesting room. So do this, run and jump. I think there's one. I think there's another one below us too. It's like there's two upgrades in here. Nope, I'm wrong. Just a stupid little expansion, but hey, more of those is better for us. I think we, I think we get two more now. Ow. Ow. Please let me get out of here. The lava hurts. Just tank damage. Eh. Actually, those little, like, snake things are actually really annoying. They were annoying in the original Metroid, too. They, they freaking hurt, but in this game, they also hurt, and they are rather annoying. Now, let's, ah, little crap. Let's speed boost our way through here. It's faster than trying to go like the shortcut way, cause like I don't, I don't feel like walking all the way around. Uh, so here's where I got the high jump boots. But now that we have a very suit, we'll you know progress normally as we, we should have. Missiles and my super missiles. Thank you. 
Actually, let me, let me fill my energy back up. I'm being paranoid. Ugh. Yeah, that's worth it, I guess. About five more minutes, so let's get... So yeah, I think the majority of these rooms here are all superheated. And I'm pretty sure you do need the various to survive. Again, I'm pretty sure there, in a speedrunning thing you can get through here with just a various suit, but you just gotta be really careful and mindful of your uh, of your health. That's basically what it's all, what it's all about. Eh. I know in, in the super in Super Metroid when you do the reverse boss thing, it's funny because the various suit is actually the, the reward you get for killing Kraid in Super Metroid, and he's the very first boss. So it's like basically you have to go through the entire the entire area. Of Norfair to get to to get to Ridley without the various suit, and it's like, it's oh gosh, it's a little brat. There we go. So you have to be very mindful of your health total, and you have to do the special trick with like, there's like a power bomb trick where you can like uh, basically heal Samus. It's really I, I used to be able to do it, and I don't remember what the controls are, but yeah, whatever. Oh, there's another way you you can sequence you can sequence break here, and it's uh, really interesting. Uh, down here. Oh, again, we can go through here because we have this ahead of time, which is nice. Ah. Actually, can I? I think this actually is a spot you're, you're supposed to go after you kill Ridley, so I might require something. Let me double check. It might just be another dumb upgrade. Ah. Nah, we, we have time. So my fiance is texting me. We'll get it later. Too busy playing Metroid. Ow. You can speed boost over all this stuff, but whatever. So we go beneath here. Ah. Yeah, again, more fake lava. I think this is all just for a. Is it for energy tank or is it for a missile expansion? Oh, from these tanks, even better. Ow. Stop it. Ah, what do you do over there? Come on. Gotcha. And I think if we let him go even further, we can get over here. Yeah, so. Ah. Can I wall jump? Nope. Alright, let me, uh, just try this again. Die. Gotta let him uh, get a little right there. Got it. All right, cool. Uh, I think it's just another missile. That's all it is. Oh, can I save the charge? I can. Woo! Okay, all that for two missile tanks. Ugh. Again, that will be all part of cleanup. So I'm glad I got that out of the way now. Oh, can I, uh, speed boost here? Yeah, I can. There we go. And run here. Boom. That'll save us some time. And... Is this a save station? No. We run right above us. I don't even know what this is. Eh. Ow. It might just be more missiles. Stupid things. Oh, actually, no, this is actually how I, I think I... Is this how we progress? I forget. This is a map station? It is a map station. Alright. I'm gonna need that. Yeah. Yeah, more fake lava. Yeah, it's everywhere here. Uh... I think it just... Yeah, I think it just... Takes you back here. Yeah, they kind of want you to, uh, I think I'm, I'm tending to go backwards, because they want you to use the ice beam to make platforms and all that, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, is it right here? I don't think it's right here, but there is a, there is a, uh, a place, all right, I think I have to go a little further. I have time. I, I kind of want to show you guys a really cool little way you can sneak this break again. And you get a really powerful item, you know, once again before you're supposed to. Alright, let's get down here. I'm pretty sure it's. I, have not, I don't think I'm missing it, so. Uh, ow. Uh, that is actual lava. Actually, that is endgame. You do need a certain. You need the, uh. 
Again, you need a way to traverse. Uh, how, I don't know why I'm... Basically, you need a gravity suit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tired of hiding it. You need the gravity suit to get through there, so that's end game stuff. Uh, let's see. Is this it? No. Uh, I think this is just more secret stuff. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, man, it's so much of stuff here. Or is this, uh, this progression? No, it's just more upgrades. Ah, gosh, these, these things are so annoying. I don't think there's anything else here. I think it's just this, so. Alright, once again. Ah, man, these, all these episodes are over 20 minutes. I'm sure you guys don't mind. Ah, stupid lava. Actually, I'm getting really close to dying again. I really don't want another, another uh, occurrence of my uh, AM2R death when I was fighting that one Metro, the uh, Zeta Metroid, and I was not paying attention to my health thing. And I, uh, I died. Yeah, I'm getting too careless with those. Give me health? Thank you. Um, I don't think this is far. I think it's a little further. No. Um, I think I am actually missing it. I don't want to miss this item. Ugh. Did I really miss- I could've swore I didn't miss the room. Here it is. Man, I'm stupid. Is it in here? Yep, I missed the room. Okay, I have to go. Oh, I don't want to go back. Now, nah, whatever. It's, it's worth it. And then, then we'll end the part. And there's, there's actually a safe station up there, too. Maybe I'll heal my. Oh, yeah, then I'll heal myself because the upgrade station has a uh, Chozo statue. And oh, oh! No! Speaking of dying, I might die right there. Falling in lava. Sorry about this week, guys. Can I get a speed booster? I'll just bypass all this. Alright, so it's actually up here. There we go. I think right here. Yep. So, these blocks, these missile blocks, are always here. You can get here whenever you want. It might require some ice beam platform making, and uh, maybe some wall jumps here and there, but you can actually get into this room, which is... Initially, well, it's actually supposed to be acquired by getting one of those launch pad things when you're leaving Ridley's lair. But if you know what those missile blocks are, you can get up here and get screw attack way ahead of time. It's great. And let me heal myself before I forget. Okay, and now we have screw attack, which can basically kill anything in this game except for Metroids and bosses. So that's kind of cool. So now, even these things, which are basically invincible, just die. Get another missile tank, which is nice. Yeah, so, this is gonna make traversing through Ridley's Lair even easier. Even, I'm not saying that it's, it's hard, but any difficulty is basically out the window now. Alright, sorry for this being a longer episode, but, uh, but yeah, now we got basically almost every upgrade. I mean, we, there are, there's, not, I think, one more up after this, and then we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So, again, Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode when we uh, go to Ridley's Lair. So, take it easy.